We have a long-standing tradition in our church that we take a moment and address our baptismal candidates. Usually, when I'm doing one or two baptisms, I'll stand with the person in the tank and we'll invite family and friends to stand and come forward and speak to them and congratulate them and um, admonish them and so forth. And so, rather than doing that one by one in our tank today, this microphone is here so that you might speak. So at this point in time, I would like to invite friends and family of one or all of the candidates uh, to come forward as you wish and greet them, uh, congratulate them, and uh, then when we get to the baptismal time, uh, we'll simply proceed with the baptisms. So the, the floor is now yours. Please come forward. I don't usually do this, but I felt I really needed to because Jaden and Jeremiah and Ethan, Jennifer, Matthew, even the Scott boys, although I don't know, they didn't, they weren't here, and definitely Cassie, all of those kiddos, kiddos, were in Janice in my kindergarten class. So kindergarten is what, ages four through six? And I know some of you guys were in there even past that age. I am just so proud and so blessed to be able to be here as you give yourself to the Lord. Um, you were just such an important part of our kindergarten class, and I'm just so proud to have been part of your lives during that time. And congratulations, and God bless you as you start this new phase in your life. I just want to say congrats to all you guys as parents. This is what we live for, as to see these moments like this. And uh, it's what a great way to start out the Thanksgiving week, you know? So, amen. I'd like to congratulate all of you. I was in the baptism in class with all of you, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I've also been a Sabbath school teacher for Jennifer, uh, Ethan, Jaden, and Matthew for kindergarten, primary, and junior years, and I enjoyed that so, so much. And I had uh, uh, Andrew and Jacob in primary. I had Cassie for a little bit in primary and Jeremiah. I'm not sure if I had you in primary or not, but I sure enjoyed having you in the baptism class, and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you. You know, I think all heaven is rejoicing today. And um, it's nice to see how all the Young people that we knew in the lower divisions blossom and see your love for God. Stay close to him. Some of my babies that have grown up, remember that you're always mine. You always belong to Jesus. Don't look at the people of you look only to Jesus. We just sang a song. Some of the lyrics said, first the, first the blade and then the ear, and then the corn shall appear. Well, a lot of God's corn right here on the front row. Well, thank you. Jennifer and Matthew, this is a high day for me. I love you both. I was at your dad's baptism, mom's, and now yours. I'm very proud of you. Stay close to Jesus, and we'll meet again in heaven as well as on this earth.
Hey, all baptismal ca candidates. Um, perhaps we've come across each other working in VBS or having fun singing somewhere along in the church, but I'm really excited for all you guys, and um, you're going to remember this day. You're going to remember this day years to come from now. It's a very memorable, memorable day to reflect back on, and I'm glad that you're making this decision. So on behalf of the youth, congratulations to all of you. Yes, I remember Chris's day not, not so long ago, it seems. Others of you who would speak to these uh, candidates, these children, young adults, please step forward. Hi, Andrew and Jacob. Dad and Michael and I are so proud of you guys. And um, I can't believe it's been almost 11 years that we dedicated you at this uh, Temple City Adventist Church, maybe some of you are familiar with it, and now here you are um, choosing to dedicate your hearts to Christ today, and we're just so proud of you, and all of you. I know you guys from VBS, and Matthew and Jennifer, a little bit from substituting in your class. I don't know if you remember throwing um, toilet paper darts one time in Sabbath School, which was kind of fun. Cassie and Jeremiah, I know you guys for years and years through adventures and Sabbath School, and just been so much fun. Sorry I almost um, knocked out your grandpa during that Pathfinder hike that one day, but that's Rick Bell's fault, not mine. I didn't plan it. <laughs> Where's Ben? I'm sure he's here somewhere. But we're just all so happy as, as, you know, part of our church family that you guys have made this choice, and bless you guys all. I'll say something while I'm waiting for someone else to get up the courage to come speak to you. I'm sure there are more. Every year I do these classes, it stress, it's, it's, a, it's a, a wonderful stress because it's an additional piece in my Sabbath morning that I don't necessarily have year-round, but it's the highlight of my year. Because when I ask a question and one of you gives me a response, particularly a correct response, it's so gratifying to know that you're learning, that you're listening. I too have watched you through the years. Some of you poor guys, you haven't had any pastor but me hardly. I've known many of you since you were, well, as they used to say, knee high to a grasshopper. And so it's exciting to see you grow and develop. Exciting to see you take on uh, more mature things and exciting to see you make this commitment to Jesus Christ. And I do trust it will be a lasting one. That This commitment you make today will follow you through your life, wherever your journey takes you, whatever careers you end up in. I know God will bless you and stay close to you. I'd like to invite anyone else to uh, share their thoughts at this time before we move on to the next portion of our service. Um, I'm Cassie's mom, and um, first of all, uh, Papa and I are so proud of you. Um, I just want you to always keep on learning to look with gratitude to the Lord as the giver of every favor and every comfort. Um, I also want you to continue learning about Him and the scriptures, for this will be your guide to salvation. We love you. Are there any any more comments to be shared? Thank you so much. May God bless all of our baptismal candidates as they seek to follow him. Sean, could I ask you to just pull that out a little bit? Just twist it. Perfect. Can you still hear me okay? That's fine. Thank you. We're at that time. I'm going to invite Cassie Finneman into 
the tank here with me. Can you see her? I'm almost tempted to just pick her up. She's so tiny. Cassie is uh, one of our faithful students. Cassie, how old are you? Nine. Kathy's, Cassie's nine, and she's making this decision for Jesus today. That's not very common, uh, and yet we're delighted that she has chosen to do that. At this time, I would like to invite Cassie's family, uh, Sabbath school teachers, etc., to please stand. Please stand and remain standing. Thank you so much. Cassie, we're going to have you turn here. Cassie, is it your desire to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes. Yes. Cassie, because of your commitment to Jesus, it is now my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then we're going to invite her cousin, Jeremiah, to... Tantako to come in. I'm told I'm not speaking loud enough. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. All right. Jeremiah, too, has been with us regularly through this Bible study and has been part of our church family for some time. We're glad you're making this decision today. Congratulations. I would like Jeremiah's family to stand and remain standing at this time. Sabbath school teachers, close friends, please stand. This is a support team for you, Cassie, and all of our baptismal candidates today. So I hope that you will participate fully in the body of Christ and know that many love you here. Is it your desire, Jeremiah, to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes, it is. Jeremiah, because of your commitment to Jesus Christ and your desire to follow him now and always, it is my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Many of you know the Heinrich family. Matthew and Jennifer has been here at least as long as I have and probably longer. And it's just great to see these kids grow up and to make this decision. Matthew, you've been studying with us. Is it your desire to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes. It is. Amen. Okay, you're tall. I'm going to move you over here. And now, because of your commitment to Jesus, it's my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's have the Heinrich family stand, please. Sorry about that. Heinrich family, and they'll be up for Jennifer. Heinrich and friends, thank you very much. Jennifer, come on in. Please remain standing, Heinrich family and friends. Jennifer, likewise, we've had a long journey together, and it's been wonderful. You're a beautiful girl, and uh, you've, you and your brother, all of you, have a tremendous future ahead of you. I'm just very excited to see where God leads. Is it your desire to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes. It is. Amen. Jennifer, because of your commitment to Jesus Christ... It is my pleasure and privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do any of you ever have trouble differentiating these two apart? <laughs> I'm going to go with Andrew and hope that I don't have it wrong. Have I got it right? I've got it right. That's tremendous. 
I've gotten better. You can, you can tell they are not the same uh, individuals, that's for sure. Let's face the congregation and invite your family to stand. Andrew and his brother Jacob have been with us through this process as well. And of course, many of you know Linda Scotto, our children's ministries director. These are her boys, and they are a handful, but they are going to be something great. I just know it. God has plans for them as he does for all of us. And uh, I just look forward to seeing where God is going to lead you, Andrew, and your brother, and, and all of you as you go, go forward from here. Is it your desire to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes. It is. Amen. Andrew, because of your commitment to Jesus Christ and your desire to follow him now and always, it is my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, Jacob, same story, same family. We're so proud of these guys and grateful that they've made this choice at this juncture in their journey. I hope that all of you will continue to encourage our kids. Uh, if they can make this commitment, it's something that stays with them for a lifetime. It's something nobody forgets. It's a rite of passage in our community and it's a symbol of something great to come, and so we're just very proud and excited uh, for all of you. Jacob, is it your desire to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes. Amen. Okay. Jacob, because of your commitment to Christ and your desire to follow him always, it is my privilege as a pastor of the gospel of Jesus Christ to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Ethan Stiati. Will the Stiati family, friends, relatives, Sabbath school teachers, will you all please stand? I think you have a whole tribe here. That's really very exciting. And they weren't shy. They took the front row. Say hi to them. Thank you, family and friends, for being here and supporting this young man. We're very pleased with him this day and proud of the decision that he's made. Ethan, is it your desire to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes. Amen. Ethan, because of your decision for Christ, it's my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ethan is in the wings uh, watching his big brother, and so we uh, just invite all of you to remain standing. This is a very exciting day for me, and I know for you, Jaden is perhaps our most mature uh, person candidate, and it's, it's an age thing, it's a developmental thing, um, and as such, I think he, he bears particular uh, responsibility for helping our class be what it's been. He's, he's been an example to the others and an influence, and I'm thankful for that. And I know that he's going to be a strong Christian as he goes through uh, his teenage years and into the rest of his life. We're, we're enormously proud of you. Is it your desire to follow Jesus now and for the rest of your life? Yes. Amen. Okay, Jaden, come on over here. Sideways a bit. You're a big guy. We'll try to get this all back. Jaden, because of your commitment to Jesus Christ, your desire to follow him now and always, it is my privilege as a minister of the gospel to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. 
please be seated. I know there are others who have been in studies. Those studies may have been interrupted for one reason or another. I'd be delighted to resume with you. Still others who've never started, and we would want you to have the opportunity to make your commitment to Jesus in the same way that these eight have today. So I welcome your contact and would love to study with you or have any of our, our staff, our church members, study with you. Uh, may God bless you all as we celebrate this wonderful thing that we have to be thankful for in the midst of Thanksgiving season. Amen. And we're going to let the deacons start draining this tub because this whole church is going to be flooded before too long here. Before we go to our closing hymn, I would like to present our uh, baptized candidates to you. I would like a motion from all of you or one of you and a second that we receive them into membership as they have now been baptized. Is there such a motion? Is there a second? All in favor, please give a resounding aye. aye. All those opposed, same sign. Thank you. Congratulations all, you are now members and I have certificates for each of you. I don't know that these are going to come in any particular order, but I'm going to invite you up to receive these. Uh, parents, if you want to get a picture at this moment, it's a wonderful time. I'm going to read. The, I don't have an independent microphone. I'm going to read the uh, inscription here. It is similar on all of them and uh, then invite the candidates forward. Given in recognition of your love for God, your desire to be a faithful follower of Jesus Christ, and your commitment to living life by the Spirit, we affirm your baptism and God's Spirit at work within you. I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he has been born again, born of water and the Spirit, John 3, 3 and 5. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Jacob Williams Scott. 